Is this, am I really, am I a granny now? Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Q back at it again with another video and um i'm sure you're seeing the scenery is a bit different i'm looking a bit different with my potato cheeks my skin is glowing finally like guys <sighs> i've missed you guys so so much and i just like to welcome everyone to the channel and to uh, whoever's coming back my loyal subscribers the family welcome back and to those who are new here if you're passing by join the family like who doesn't want to have like more than one family this is this is your new family now on youtube you know where your relatives will come through for you <sighs> i've been away hey like i really have been for a while um i'm a bit my son is like i'm a bit ashamed but yeah all for good reason um i think um a lot has been happening in my life good things good things only so this is like a quick life update and um also Jay, just to like fill you in like i've been thinking about you guys the whole time and some people were like bro when's the next video and i'm like it's gonna come it's gonna come but i i always think about my youtube channel like all the time um and i do film but Jay, you know sometimes it's like creative decisions and i am a bit indecisive in life and also um like the quality of the work that comes out it needs to be like something good i can't just give you guys something bad and also um <clears throat> just in my life um i've had like a lot of stuff happening at the same time first of all i turned 30 <laughs> i'm in my 30s now like i'm your auntie i'm your babushka call me granny like call me babushka okay there's that then there's also the fact that i like um moved out of my like home in manzini now i live in a different town i live in Llangano and it's let me say in Llangano. oh in Llangano. i live in Llangano now so like there was that and yeah man but like all for good reason like it's like nothing bad happened i just like it's work related relocations and stuff and me being there is just me like time passing guys come on so mostly it's been that and just trying to like adjust in a new environment and um the move is like really really been like a lot so i just wanted to like talk to you guys about that and to just talk about the dread of feeling old like i feel i feel old oh. yeah so turning 30 guys it's like it's been a it doesn't feel i don't feel weird in my heart i feel weird but on the outside it still feels like me like i don't have wrinkles yet i hope but yeah so i'm still adjusting um life is life is life is apparently someone said like being in your 30s is like your being in your 20s but with money and i kind of see it i kind of see it i'm not gonna lie like i've been 30 for just like a couple of weeks <laughs> i can't really you know like speak much for my 13ness but so far so good so yeah um anyway let's get into it guys this long intro but like let's get into it um so um the things that i learned in my 30s uh, in my 20s wow the things that i learned in my 30s um uh, anyway so um before we even go into that i just wanted to speak about the feeling of dread and the feeling of like becoming when i turned 30 i was depressed i don't want to lie like um i think because of societal pressure it started feeling like you know what have i even achieved um, i feel old um i feel like there's just great expectations now like people will expect me to like get married start a family but like am i really ready you know those types of things like like i'll have to like drive a bigger car than i drive now poor lindani will have to like chill because she's like the car of my 20s <sighs> you know those kinds of things but like um after a while i just got to like embrace it i'm content now and I'm, I'm i feel happy um that i'm 30 and i feel like it's a instead of looking at it as like mourning my 20s it should be like 
I'm celebrating that I'm entering a new chapter in my life. So if you're like 19 and you're about to turn 20, clap your hands like you're entering, you're, you're saying goodbye to that horrible time in your life when you were a teenager and you're entering your 20s. And to those in their 20s, there's still time to like enjoy them. I don't know how, even if you're 29, you've got like a whole year or a couple of months to enjoy your 20s. So I'm speaking, this is like a video to the 20s, to the people who are in their 20s. So these are the things that I learned in my 20s. So the first thing that I learned is you need to be yourself. I can't stress that enough. You need to be yourself. This is like the decade where you discover who you are and you come to terms with who you are. Like all those things that mattered in high school, all, the, all those things that mattered even in varsity, like, oh, I was the popular one. Those things don't matter. You don't have to like try to, um, you don't have to try to, to be someone else. Because when you're yourself, you don't need to do, um, to, to do cartwheels for people to accept you you know just be yourself and work on yourself and improve yourself just be yourself be the best you you can be like and the people that really matter will like be drawn to the real you like everyone has that person everyone has like people for them so like be yourself as much as you can be don't be afraid to try things don't be afraid to explore and um i mean this i'll say a disclaimer here like i don't want you to now like go and start like a cartel like join a cartel or join a gang or you know <laughs> like I, I, that's not what i'm talking about here but like don't don't be don't tell yourself this is not for me or i'm too like i i, I don't deserve this no that this is not the time but these are your 20s this is like some might even say this is like the peak i don't believe it's the peak of life i do now it's the peak of my life technically because like i just turned 30 maybe my life is still gonna get better who knows but so far it's been the peak of my life my 20s were better than my teens better than my actual childhood I had a good childhood but like my t my 20s were like it you know like this is where um i traveled this is where i like i literally traveled i met new people i tried new things i learned how to play an instrument in my 20s by the way so like you, you need to try you need to explore you need to if you see something and you like it just do it like you don't have to wait until i, I don't know what happens just try it if the dancing classes go for the dancing classes you feel like i can't dance i need to start dancing if you feel like i can't sing and just start singing do it do it just do it this is the time for you to do it and you have like the the power of youth and time on your hands you know like it's never gonna be as good as it is now in your life like the responsibilities are only gonna end up piling up from here on out so another thing that i learned in my 20s was the importance of learning from your mistakes so um you'll find that in life as you're moving like you you'll make some mistakes and some of them are like just minor mistakes and others are like very drastic mistakes and you just think like oh my gosh have i ruined my life um am i ever going to be the same again but learn from them and pick yourself up there's no time like the present and there's no like every situation passes like there's no situation it doesn't matter how bad it was you're gonna pick yourself up and you're gonna move from it and in turn you're gonna look back and be like oh my gosh i can't believe i used to be that used to be me i used, I used to like struggle with this or i made this huge mistake my family couldn't talk to me or like i lost all my friends or i lost all my money you know like you need to learn from your mistakes and if you can learn from other people's mistakes because that's the best way to learn like if you see someone and you see them making a huge mistake you can just learn from that mistake and be like okay i don't think i should do that or i don't think things should be done in that particular way there's better thing ways of doing that so it's important to learn from your mistakes you people in your 20s another thing that i learned was the importance of investing early if you see an opportunity be very careful with your money if you can save you save your money if you, there's an, a good investment opportunity and you're very sure about it just start with money that you can afford to lose in case it's a scam and invest it and then over time just make investments you know there are other they're like um financial brokers now like you can start like you don't need a lot of a lot of money like, like it's very important to have financial freedom and i wish i would have like known this a bit earlier because now it's like some of the things i can't really do because of time constraints but now you like in your 20s you do kind of have time if it means like investing in a business 
invest in it if it means investing in yourself like your look your brand j like invest like buy some nice clothes for yourself and look good so that like you make an impression at work and with with, with the people around you and create a good network just invest man invest in actually it goes beyond money now that I, let me just even say it's like invest in education you know like if there's an opportunity to learn like something there are like night classes you know for like adults like this adult education you understand there are these little courses you can even learn online guys just invest in yourself because by the time you're like 30 you've done like four or five courses or you have like this extra course and like now they can promote you at work you know so these are the things that you need to do invest as early as you can as soon as you can if you find an opportunity grab it by all means and just invest in yourself by any means necessary make good friends there's no time for fake friends like if there's someone that you see and this person is just like we've all been there man we've all been there you know some of your friends will make you feel inferior and make you feel less than or you make you feel like you have to keep proving yourself that person is not your friend if you're not if there's a funky feeling that you feel in your heart when you're with a certain person and they are supposed to be your friend that person is not your friend i'll just tell you for free right now you don't have you don't have to pay me anything so invest in these people that just take you for who you are you know these people who are also able to um like correct you in a loving way they're not like embarrassing you in front of people you know people are in your life for a reason some are there for a season and some are there for life so you need to you can't now treat the person who's here for like a season as the person who's gonna be there um for the rest of your life and then you're gonna lose the person who's who's meant to be there in your life forever for someone who's supposed to be in your life for a season to teach you a lesson you understand so all these people do matter but like value them accordingly reciprocate the energy that you get and really like treat your friends well man invest in your friends that 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 build you that care about your career that care about like the way you're handling your money that care about your family whether you're spending time with your family those are quality friends please appreciate your family i don't know how to say this any further um appreciate your mom appreciate your dad appreciate your granny appreciate the person uh, some of us might not have like um your like um normal normal i say normal in, in in quotes you know you might be living maybe you are under you were living with your foster parents if they treated you well and they really invested in your life then i feel it's very important to appreciate them while you still have them you know um the more time goes on um you, you you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow you know like appreciate your siblings your brothers your sisters there's no time to fight now it was okay when you were teenagers but now you're like more grown and like you you need to appreciate them and we live in africa where like um you know like there's this thing called black tax i don't want to call it black tax but it is black tax but you know it's not really black tax when it's coming from your heart you can't just be working and like just like let your let your parents be living in poverty while you're working that's not okay i feel like you need to take care of your family um even if it's not like buying them a whole house but like when you go there just like bring a bag of groceries um you know call them check on them you know buy some units of electricity like nje do something man that should be something that you do to appreciate your family and to, to, to take care of them because of, these are the people who will pick you up when the world has chewed you up and thrown you out so you definitely need to appreciate your family another thing that you need to do is to take care of yourself holistically like your body nje your body is a temple so you need to treat it likewise like you need to take care of yourself physically. The food you eat matters. You can't be eating um, KFC every day. I love KFC to death, but you can't be eating that every day. You know, you can't be eating bread with margarine every day. You need to try, like, buy vegetables, you know, like, you can't be eating noodles and cornflakes every day, Gesana. No, 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 you can't do that. You, like, need to, like, invest in, like, good food. Go to a gym if you can. Jog. Just take care of yourself, man. Even spiritually, pray read the bible I, um, if you're not like whatever you believe in like if you're not christian do whatever makes you happy in jail like spiritually your spirit needs to be taken care of you know like read your bible um join a study group go to church 
mentally if you're not feeling okay say so don't just be moody and let everyone else like when when you're happy everyone must join you now but when you're like upset like when are you gonna be moody um you're gonna talk to people anyhow that's not okay that's toxic that's just like unbecoming and it should not like that's not who we're trying to be in our 20s because that will spill over into your 30s and 40s when you have children and you're gonna ruin them because of that so take care of your mental health if you're not feeling okay if you're feeling depressed um some people might, might not know what depression looks like and that'll be a story for another day um I'll make a video just comment down below if you want me to make a video about depression and how it looks like you need to talk to someone get counseling if you can afford to um there are free counseling services actually if you live in Eswatini, there are free counseling services, so you can go to these like clinics. Um, we do have a clinic at AHF. Um, you can even go for testing and get free counseling services. Or if you're HIV positive, then you just you can just come as a visitor and get free counseling services. So there's that. And socially also, like you need to take care of yourself and make sure that you blend with people. It matters to be at peace with the people around you, with the surroundings. You can't be fighting with everyone. If there's someone that you're not okay with, either you cut them off completely or just like find a way to make amends, get someone to um, help mediate the situation and yeah, just get that out of the way, you know? Another thing that I learned in my 20s was to journal. So it really helped me. I've been journaling since I was like, like eight, you guys. <laughs> but like the journaling that I was doing back then was like, like just silly like it was for that it was for that time you know like dear diary na, 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 na. I, I journal i don't do it as often as i would like to but i want to like make it uh so i want to make it more of a habit where like i just journal my day i have a 2023 diary i don't have it with me now but like this is diary that i have for 2023 so what i do is i write my to do like what i have to do on that day and it's so ideal like if i make a plan for like two weeks from now i'll go and write it on the to do for that day you know like and then at the end of the day i come back and i like like gratitude like i, I write down the things that i'm grateful for that happened that day so that when i go back one day and i read um i'll have like something to look to look back to and be like oh i went through that another thing um is a prayer journal um i pray i have quiet sessions like quiet time where i like pray and read the word and i journal that like i journal my prayers and it's been one of the most mind-blowing things because when you write it down and pray over it trust it's gonna happen trust like there's no way and when i go back and i read and i'm like how you know it matters to know that god has done all these things for you and you're keeping track of the blessings you know it helps it keeps you grateful and i do also like write that you know just write my pour out my feelings on the on a journal the same um i use the same 2023 journal that i have because like that's the only like you know some days i forget to journal you know i don't do it every day like i said like as as often as i want to but i try you know so i go back to the empty pages and i write my feelings and stuff it's still my journal day it's like a organized chaos nyana, but it works for me and then last but not least in your 20s and even in life basically please be kind to yourself you know like you need to treat yourself like the queen and the king you are you know like the way you speak yourself speak to yourself really matters the way you think of yourself really matters because it affects you it affects your outlook it affects, affects your worldview and it affects the way other people look at you because if you have a low self-esteem you're gonna hurt the people around you and or you're gonna draw people to you that are like not very good and they'll manipulate you and do all sorts of bad things to you so if you're kind to yourself the way you speak to yourself when you make a mistake for example i used to be someone who who would be like oh, if i do something bad i'd be like oh, i'm so stupid why would you say that to yourself like why would you say that to yourself don't say something to yourself that you'd never say to someone else just like treat yourself nicely spoil yourself go out for movies by yourself if you've never done that sorry to this man if you like reading read if you like playing video games give yourself that time just spoil yourself you know give yourself some tlc man like just 
it's very important because now you become this healthy holistic person who doesn't really need other people's validation because you have your own validation you, you can take care of yourself you know anyway guys so this has been the video and i really hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment down below what you learned in your 20s if you're whether you're still in your 20s or not or what you look forward to in your 20s if you're still a teenager or if you're like older than that just like share your experiences share experiences as a 30 in your, someone in your 30s because i'm still a, a novice at this just like give me advice what should i do help me what have you learned in your 30s as well so so that in 10 years time when i make the video it's gonna be like oh hey look she made a video about her 20s look at her in her 40s now making a video about her 30s <laughs> imagine that anyway guys thank you so much for watching enough banter thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.